Hey there, Hector here. Just wanted to let you all know that this Thursday, May the 10th, we will launch our live stream series called The Live Joint. Our first guest on this new show will be Jonathan Juan, also known as Kahi, a former member of the TTV channel. It's gonna be lots of fun, so I hope to see you there. Enjoy the rest of the episode. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Lime Join podcast. My name is Hector, and with me is John. Hola. <laughs> and a bunch of guests, um, hey. Bennett, O'Brien, and Meerkat, or Isaac Meer, whatever. But Hi. anyway. I'm the guy who 3D models and stuff. Yeah, I'm the guy who does the Rakshi spines. Okay, mm-hmm. Rakshi. Chills, chills. Yeah. Hey guys, I'm Isaac. I made the uh, the gummy karate with uh, I kind of did that in conjunction with uh, Brian. So, hey, mm-hmm. gummy karate. Well, I'm best thing. and I did a shitty thing once, and everyone liked it, and I still get fucking notifications from it. Fucking stop. So uh, we're doing something a little different again. Uh, well, not really, because we've already done this, but not as a main episode. So, what we are doing is we are going to read Bionicle fanfiction. And uh, the one we have selected here, it's called The Human Toa by Nuva16, last updated on March 26, 2005. Uh, the synopsis reads, Before the Toa Nuva were the Toa Metru... What? No, wait. Before the Toa Nuva <laughs> there were the Toa Metru... But what if they revealed to the Toa the human that Lee Khan raised? Um, rating might go up. Bad summary. I don't know why that is included in the summary. The way we're going to do this, we are going to rotate. Like, one person is going to read a paragraph. The other person is going to read another paragraph. So, yeah, we should set an order. How about we, uh, how about we just do it by the way our Discord names are aligned? Sure. I think that'll be the easiest way to go about this. From alphabetical okay. order. All right. Is this working? Uh, this is working, yeah. I think. Cool. All right. Sounds good. <clears throat> so, prologue found by a friend. A young girl ran across the barren lands of Metro Nui. The Vaki were right behind her, intent on her capture. Not far in front of her, Nediki was waiting for her. The girl looked behind her and kept running. Suddenly, Toa Li Khan jumped out and attacked the Vaki. The girl kept running and ducked behind a rock. Aren't you a little young to be alone? The girl gasped and looked behind her. Standing in front of her was Nidiki. He looked down at her and sneered. What is your name, child? It's Sarah! (laughs) Nidiki moved towards Sarah and went to grab her. Likan jumped in front of him and yelled to Sarah, Run and hide! Sarah Sarah didn't hesitate to listen. She ran and found a small crevice. She hid in it and fell asleep. (laughs) Oh my god. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was trying to clear my throat. Uh, Sarah awoke a while later and looked around. Uh, She gasped as Lacan looked into the crevice. Uh, He smiled and held out his hand to her. Uh, Come on. I don't bite. Sarah gently grabbed Lacan's hand. He pulled her out and lifted her into his arms. So, what's your name, young one? Sarah. I'm four and a half years old. Uh, Lacan mm. smiled and looked oh, looked her over. She had blonde hair and sapphire blue eyes. Oh, man. Uh, Sarah laid her head against uh, Lacan's chest and yawned. He smiled and walked towards Ta Metro. Uh, Lacan reached his home and went inside. It was well after dark, and Sarah was almost asleep. Lacan decided that he should go to bed also. He went into his bedroom 
and laid Sarah on the bed. Uh, Lacan put his board away and went to the bed. Uh, Sarah was mumbling to herself when she came in, when he came in. Oh, this sounds really bad. Uh, <laughs> he sat on the side of the bed and gently moved the bangs from her face. Uh, Lacan laid down on the bed and fell asleep. Man, this is really, really sexual. Goodness. Okay, so, do um, I'm not very um, sharp on my lore right now. Um, Bionicles don't need to sleep, do they? They have not shown any need to sleep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, don't but they? Really... They have the ability to. I'm pretty sure. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. but... What we do, what we do know for a fact is that the um, during the Matanui sagas, mm -hmm. we do know that the uh, Toa were traversing great distances upwards of over a hundred miles. So the mm -hmm. odd, and they were not shown to ever need to sleep. So mm -hmm. either they don't need to sleep, or they moved so fast that they did the entirety of their mask searches in like. It's possible. It's honestly very possible. In which case, holy fuck the Kakama, though. Yeah, dude. <laughs> but... <laughs> and another thing, like, Sarah, like, she just went into a small crevice and immediately went to sleep while a battle was going on. Like, wouldn't you be, like, pumping with adrenaline if you were involved in a fight? Yeah, sometimes. I don't know, man. Four-and-a-half-year-olds are weird. Yeah, that's just so weird. Uh -huh, but anyway, let, let's keep moving. Meerkat, it's your turn. But Leekon! Sarah, I'm sorry. I have to go. The Vaki must be stopped. Can we take a minute Leacon. to appreciate the way the quotes are set up here? Yeah. Oh yeah, it's trash. I, I fucking hate this. <laughs> this is, yeah. This person has no idea how to properly format a story or like prose or anything. This well, person, oh my god, we're a fucking half years old. <laughs> no, it's no, it's ten years later. Um, She's fourteen now. That mm -hmm. it makes it's gonna make it better when it gets sexual. No, oh god! Gosh, up. could we not? Leekon looked at the four and a half year old inside. I don't know why. Very specified four and one half. Like it yeah. actually matters. Um, Sarah had been living with him for a month now, and they were close. Leekon was like a father to Sarah. He bent down and looked Sarah in the eyes. I won't be leaving for another two days, but when I do leave, I want you to stay here until I send for you, okay? Okay. Leekon smiled and put Sarah into a hug. Pulled Sarah into a hug, excuse me. He gently kissed her on top of her head. Leekon, why do you have to go? Metro Nui is in danger. The Torin are disappearing. Mediki is following my every move, and he wants you. So I'm going to find some more Toa. Sarah nodded and looked up at Leekon. What do I do when you're gone? I'll also point out your misspelled. Um, yeah, this is a very run recurring issue with Bionicle fanfic, I've found. I find fanfic. this to be an issue with every fanfic, yeah. Yeah. True. Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you anyway. one of the new Toa to find. I'll, I'll tell one of the new Toa to find you. Don't worry. We will see each other again. Sarah hugged Leekon and then went to the bathroom. Oh, bedroom. Um, <laughs> Leekon. Listen, I'm slightly lixdexic. Please forgive me. Um, <laughs> Leekon, okay. <laughs> Leekon watched as Sarah went to the bedroom. Uh, he sighed and looked at Ta Metru. The city was beautiful at night, but still very dangerous. Leekon went into the bedroom and sat on the bed next to Sarah. He pulled her into his lap and looked her in, in, looked into her eyes. Sarah, I care a lot about you. And I don't want you dead. I wish I could stay, but I must go. If I don't see you ever again, I hope with all my heart, Stone, that you grow up into a <laughs> beautiful girl. Thanks, Leekon. You know, this honestly isn't like the weird uh, like level of terrible that um, what the hell? That um, Re Bionicle Revolution Bionicle was Revolution. at. This is yeah. like, honestly, just kind of boring. It's trying to be um, authentic and genuine. Yeah. I've, I've but read... it just comes off as weird and not interesting. Yeah. I'll I've tell read... you what. 
I'll tell you what, whoever wrote this obviously didn't have a father figure in their life, and it's kind of sad. And now I now I want to cry myself to sleep. Yeah. I read yeah. a little bit ahead. It, it gets spicier, let's say, afterwards. Woo! But that's I'll take your word almost for it. more unfortunate. Little did we know that it was gonna get spicier than anyone could ever imagine. Mm. Yeah. Right. She looked at him. Good night, Lee Con. Good night, Sarah. Lee Con kissed her forehead and laid next to her, falling asleep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, wait, guys. Wait, wait, hold on, hold story. on, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. wait, wait, wait. Lee Con kissed her. With what lips? With what? <laughs> that, dude, she's got to just have a really fucked up and scarred forehead, man. Like, I thought we, I thought we got to, I thought we came to the conclusion that they don't kiss; they just high five. <laughs> oh, hand contact is sex, yeah. Oh my god. No, there is no sex in Bionicle. Love isn't hand, canon. Hand holding is sex I in will Bionicle. Kill you. Which of course means that this fan fiction can't exist because love isn't canon. That's that's what tips you off. It's not the fact that there's a bionic that there's a human in Metro Nui. Well, it's that love is in canon, and therefore this fanfic can't exist. Yeah, that's I mean, the problem. This is, this. I mean, this is probably a deleted scene in the Legends of Mitra Nui movie, so. Yeah. But, oh my god, let's so let's move on to the you chapter find one. A voice actress nerdy enough to his voice. Uh, Wait, oh you gotta god. read the last line. You gotta read the last line. Someone's got to. Okay. Okay, guys, here's my next story. I'm working on the last chapter to Tally's adventure. Hope you enjoy. R slash R. Let's go to the chapter one, meetings by lava surfing. John, it's your turn. Oh, man. Sarah Bolt 10 years later. <laughs> Fuck. Sarah yeah. bolted upright, soaked in sweat. A dream again. Why do I keep having it? Sarah sighed and got up. She went over to her dresser and pulled out her clothes. She wore a dark red bikini top and a pair of red and gold shorts. These are necessary. Oh, wonderful. These are necessary details for my very innocent. We're heading into my immortal territory. Brace yourself. <laughs> yeah. Sarah went over to the table by her bed and picked up her locket. Inside of was a picture of her and Lee Khan before he was killed by Makuta. She sighed. I didn't. That had been, I didn't know Bionicle had cameras. That had been ten years ago. Sarah put the locket on and grabbed her sunglasses. I guess I'd better be going to the lava before Tahu. Sarah grabbed her board and left. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> ten years ago? He died ten yeah. years ago. So what I wonder oh is, my God. why exactly? This, this, this actually, this fucks with the canon in more ways than you. can possibly yeah. imagine because forget forget yeah. the fact that she's forget the fact that she's a human in the bionicle universe we also have to consider the fact that she has memories from before everyone's memories were erased so she's mm -hmm. basically mm. so she knows as much as the taraga now this 14 year old mm -hmm. human girl yeah. is sarah the taraga also and then there's the other issue the Toa Mata didn't come to Mata Nui until a hundred years after the... Not ten. Pretty sure it's a thousand years. Oh, it's like a thousand? Yeah. Fuck. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So she is actually a thousand fourteen years old. I, I guess it, it's probably like, maybe she was in the Matoran pod, maybe it was kind of a, an Ang situation. No, don't, don't justify this. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Got trapped in, a, mean, in an air I mean, shoot. Also also, th keep in mind that a year in the Bionicle universe is not the same as a year in human. So, yeah. there don't might try and justify you, this. Why would you stop stop justifying that? this? What What is the point of defining a year as something di as a different amount of time than a year is? Honestly, why does it even matter when Bionicle don't age? I mean, it just yeah. say. I mean, I'm, it did I'm say still... that. It was 36 hours in a day, you know. I'm oh still God. more concerned. I'm still more concerned that uh, fucking, that literally the first fucking paragraph in, right? And mm -hmm. already there's two My Immortal references. There's the, there's the locket, and then there's the fucking she wore a whatever. 
Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my I God. mean, she had a Bikita because she's in Ta Takoro, so I you would expect she's really got the gold. Hot. Please shorts stop because, justifying uh, it. Oh my yes. God! <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of lava around, so you know it's probably hot in there. You know, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna continue. I'm gonna continue. Yeah. Continue. Please do. We have another instance of Bionicle sleeping here. Mm -hmm. Tahu lay on his bed, his face in his pillow. Makama smiled. The toll of fire always slept in when he was needed. <laughs> Makama went over and hit Tahu hard on the head with his staff. That's a shitty adjective. Ow! <laughs> Rog of Makama. What, what, what was that for? You slept in again, Tahu. You should go and see the other Toa now. What? They've been here since first light. Tahu hopped out of the bed, grabbed his swords, and went outside. Liwa, Onua, Pohatu, Gali, Kopaka, and Takanuva were all waiting. About time, Coleyhead. Hey, I sleep in, okay? I sleep <laughs> in. Present tense there. Um, yeah, and no, you, you read it wrong. It's not, hey, I sleep in. It's, hey, I sleep in, okay? There's no comma there. <laughs> yeah, you paused hey, too I sleep long. In. Hey, I sleep in. Voice acting skills zero out of ten. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Keep going. Okay. Uh, Lewa smiled, and Onua went over to clap Tahu on the shoulder. He clapped a couple other things too. Um, <laughs> well, let's get down to the lava. Maybe there's some Matoran who are who better no. than you, Tahu. <laughs> Yeah, right, Pohatu. No one's better than me. Tahu turned to Kopaka and Gali. You two coming? Nah, we'll stay here. Suit yourself. <laughs> Tahu and the others headed for the Lava River. Oh my god. Are there lava rivers in Metro Nui? Yeah, in Takoro, yeah. They're Pretty out, sure. They, yeah. Now we're outside the robot. Yeah, dude, like... Uh, yeah, there are. Lava surfing is really common in Takoro. It's a sport. I thought that this was Tometru. No, 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 no. That We are in... Oh, shit. You might be right, actually. Because this is Takanuva. So, yeah, yeah, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, you have a point. You have a point. But I'm, I'm not entirely sure. We'll, we'll convert... We'll converse about this after we uh, can confirm exactly where yeah. we are. <clears throat> so. Tua, the Chronicler. <laughs> anyway. <clears throat> my, lord, my lord, your life, the Chronicler approaches. <clears throat> <clears throat> Woohoo! Sarah hit a it's big whom. wave and almost fell. How is she alive? <laughs> yeah. how, how does a person so. surf on lava? Um, <laughs> There's so much sulfur out there Woo. that you suffer. Also, might I... M Mir, Mir said this, but also, might I add, incorrect form of it should be woo whom. Mm hmm <laughs> woo <-hoo>. Okay, so, <laughs> Sarah hit a big wave and almost fell. She surfed over to the shore and sat down. She looked down at her gloved hands, then to the lava. I need to go, I need to get back out there before Tahu gets here. Sarah stood up and jumped on her board. Unknown to Sarah, the Toa were on their way. Tahu and the others all rounded a corner and broke into a rot. No, wait, and were almost to the river. Well, Tahu, maybe someday you'll meet a lava surfer better than you. In your dreams, Takanuva, they'd have to be human. Whoa! Tahu broke into a run and stopped at the river's edge. In front of him, surfing the lava, was a beautiful human girl. She was tall and lean, with blonde hair that was dyed red at the ends. She had <laughs> sapphire blue eyes. They have, why do they have hair dye in Bionicle? They don't have hair. <laughs> red Look, does man. not help this situation. She just, she went to Bionicle Walmart and got some. I mean, all the Metru Matoran had, like, a gradient on their mask, so, I mean, it wouldn't make sense that they would paint the mask in some Please way. stop Please justifying this. Please stop still justifying this. Go home. Stop justifying this I shit. am home. <laughs> anyway, 
She had sapphire blue eyes and wore a dark red bikini top with a pair of red and gold shorts. We already we knew this. We just said this. <laughs> when the others found Tahu, he was staring at the girl. Yo, Tahu, you could close your mouth. Oh. He doesn't have a mouth. He have an orifice. Do, do Bionicle drool? <laughs> I, I, do, I do not want to find out. But, but his and mouth is open all the poverty. time. Do you look at that mask? It's open all the time. Yeah, it's yeah, always Tahu's just Tahu's just always going around like, oh, like. No, it's it's a perpetual wow react. <clears throat> Edco Pak is a perpetual angry react. <laughs> yeah, but come on, let's keep going, and Brian. You're next. Perpetual haha react. <laughs> yeah. Golly okay. is a perpetual wow react. <laughs> Her too. Right, come on. Uh, I will not talk in Obama anymore because Obama sure. is driving me crazy. Please but anyway, don't. Sarah looked over to her left and saw the Toa looking at her. She gasped and almost lost her balance. Sarah surfed to the shore and looked at the Toa. Who are you? And what are you doing lava surfing? I'm Sarah, and I always love a surf. Sarah turned to walk away, but Pohatu grabbed her arm. Hey, let me go. Not until that's a very, we talk not, that's to a the very Pohatu thing to do, honestly. I know, right? He's like the friendliest of all of the Toa. Pohatu's a bro. Exactly. Pohatu grabbed her by all the head cannon. Within this head cannon, uh, he actually cuffed her with his links, like he did with the uh, with the Rakshi. Oh dear. Yeah. Uh, keep going. Um, a red hand clasped Pohatu's arm. Let her go, Pohatu. She did nothing wrong. Pohatu growled and let Sarah go. <clears throat> she adjusted her sunglasses. Why would Pohatu ever off. do that? Because he because he's brown. That's why. Oh. Fuck the vodka <laughs> straight in the ground. <laughs> Only Hector can say this. Pomator and got it because brown. Oh my god, keep going. Tahu followed her. Tahu caught up to Sarah. Hey, wait up. What do you want? Look, I'm sorry about Pohatu back there. He is sometimes protective. Well, thank you. See, you at the calling match later? Yeah, I'll be there. Well, bye. Sarah <laughs> smiled at Tahu and left. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm in love. Not canon. Tahu, not... I'm coming. <laughs> Definitely not canon. Okay, keep in mind. Oh, look, look, look. Keep in mind that this human is 14 years old. 14 and a half years old. Yeah. Yeah, that's and a pretty Toa. Engaged in a bionicle universe. And these that's Toa pretty... are 80,000 years old? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. So an elderly person going after a 14-year-old. Oh, dear. I mean, Twilight did it. No, a corpse going after. <laughs> a, a corp. A mechanical, biomechanical corpse. A biomechanical yeah, that like this pterodax. That this was is... rotting in oh, well, that was rotting away in a canister for like thousands of years. This is like this is so confusing because like it it, it Im it's implied that Sarah and Tahu know each other, but then they they actually meet, and it's like, who are you? And then immediately after going, like, who are you? They're like, see you at the Kohli match? Like, being at Kohli matches is a common thing for her, even though they don't know who she is. Like, I, mean, she I am lived, so confused. I mean, she lived, she probably lived at Takora all her life, you know? You know what yeah, she got? But you, you don't think that there. these, you don't fucking think that the patron saint of Takoro would know who the fuck this girl is? Yeah. Or at least Pohatu, like, if Brian, she's the only human around, you'd think that they would know her already. But how do they even know that humans exist if she's the only one? Because they're like, only a human could beat me, and then suddenly there's a human. Like, how do they know that? What how do they know are? what humans are? Yeah. yeah. There aren't even, the great beings aren't even human, so like... <laughs> 
I mean, you know, maybe in one of those travels that the Mator Matsu oh, went to, they you Brian, know collected. Brian, next time you try to justify something, you're going to be kicked out of this call, probably. <laughs> Uh, let's keep going. Damn. Chapter two. Brian Cold has Mitch. now been fired from RSG. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> hey, you can't fire me. You don't have the authority. Only Lahari has that power. But you know, <laughs> I, I, I'll I'm absolutely not call even Lahari. On RSG. Why would I have that power? <laughs> anyway, come on. Let's keep going. Chapter two. The Coley match. <laughs> Sarah went into her hut and flopped onto her bed. Man, this is bad. Taraga Vakami will be so angry. What's Sarah a man? sighed and got up. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're right. <laughs> she. Um, Sarah sighed and got up. She went over to her mirror and looked at herself. She had smoke on her face. Yeah, no shit. And her clothes <laughs> were singed. Guess I better go wash up and change. Sarah went over to her dresser and pulled out a blue tank top with a pair of blue and white shorts. She grabbed her blue sunglasses <laughs> and left. Fuck you for matching and shit. Oh, Holy fuck. Yo, also, uh, is this just fucking, is this the fucking Barbie movie? Like, <laughs> what is this? Yeah. Why, why do we give a shit about her goddamn wardrobe? It's because she self mocks with her wardrobe. You pronounced that wrong. It's singed. <laughs> singed. Thank you for correcting me on that because I, I absolutely did not even think about that. Fuck. <laughs> that. What's uh, a mirror? <laughs> what is a mirror? Do we even see mirrors in Bionicle? Like, is that a thing? I mean, there's I'm sure like there are surfaces. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah, there's, there's such things as reflections, so. But why would yeah. Matoran <laughs> even need a mirror? Why would Matoran even need a mirror? They don't care Maybe how they the fuck they look. they gotta adjust their mask. Yeah. yeah. See, see, he gets it. Well, then they'd just be able to like, feel that, it on their that face. That is probably one of the more reasonable concessions that you can make for the story. Yeah. yeah. The mask attaches to their fucking face via a mouth. Mm. So as long as they keep the peg in their mouth, their mask is going to be on right. Exactly. No, 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 no. no. What about Takua? Her, his mask got, like, loose in Mask of Light. Yeah, so maybe he needed a mirror. Yeah. To adjust it. Are you <laughs> justifying this? Need a fucking mirror. Let's just let's fucking move. On. You, <laughs> don't you dare talk about justifying like <laughs> little concessions cuz that's like 90% of what RSG does. It's like finding reasonable ways of putting shit in there in the lore. So All right, let's justify let's right. justify that ga that ga Matoran that are male exist. Okay, let's justify that. Yeah. Kodawi. Let's, just, let's fucking Kodawi. Let's justify on. that, even though it's objectively not true. <laughs> let's let's move on. Let's move on. Anyway, Come on, John. Tahu sat on uh sorry, let me let me let me um hmm. Yeah, I got nothing. Tahu sat on, I was trying to think of a voice. Tahu sat on a rock looking at the Matoran. Uh, he sighed, he couldn't stop thinking about Sarah. Comma, Tahu, are you okay? That, so... Come on. The way no. that... No, I'm like, just looking at this, the way the sentence is punctuated, it mm -hmm. doesn't make sense. Yeah. It's like he doesn't know where to put, or she, I don't know, doesn't know where to put the commas, because mm -hmm. there is the comma right before the sentence, which doesn't need to be there, and then there's not one in the sentence where it does need to be. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Like, for instance, the fact that Liwa is the subject of the following sentence mm -hmm. is... Makes no sense. Well, like, it's sufficient to say that he's the person that's uh, saying that. Or it yeah, would yeah, be yeah. if there was a period after Sarah. However, because mm -hmm. there's a comma, it's tying the Tahu, are you okay? Uh, to Tahu. Quote, to the previous... Not even to Tahu. To the mm -hmm. previous sentence... Where it just doesn't follow. I think here's the proper way to read this. The proper way to read this would be he sighed. He couldn't stop thinking about Sarah. Tahu, are you okay? Well, it's like, it, it, it's, it's just a show like, the fuck. It's just a show the importance of, decide, of, the, of 
whether you put a comma or a period in a sentence. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, yeah. it, it's the little things that make a huge difference. Oh my difference. god, just keep going. Anyway, Lua came farmer. over and sat next to Tahu. Yeah, I'm fine. I can't stop thinking about Sarah Nell. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Shout out! Cool. You like her, don't you? Oh, yeah, no. I like her. Oh, Hector no. certainly does. She's pretty strong, <laughs> and she can lava surf really well. Oh, Why no. is this human girl attractive to a biomechanical seven foot tall monster? <laughs> it's more of the biomechanical thing being attracted to her, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I'm saying, like, how could she be attractive to him? Mm -hmm. I think you should talk to her later after the Coley game. I'll oh, try. Man. Thanks, Liwa. No problem. Hey, where are you going? To the hot springs. I need to look for Sarah, right? Right. Look good. See ya. Tahu waved to Liwa and left. Why <laughs> is there no, like, why is it just quotes next to quotes next to quotes? Because this person was probably in fifth grade. That's like, why. Well, like, you can do that with certain quotes. Like, if there's a series of short quotes where it's obvious who's saying, then, like, mm -hmm. yeah, you can do that. But in this case, it's very important who's saying these, who's saying each line, and there's not words in them that, deter that like, can hint that they're, make that they're the ones that are saying those lines unless you keep track, and it's, like, every other quote. I'm more concerned that there wasn't a Coley game Liwa said that she that he should look for her after the Coley game, but then he immediately left for the hot springs. Oh. It's just immediately. I think it should go Why after the Coley hot? game. Okay, Why I'll would go Pearl right now. Why would Pearl skip the Coley game? No, that was mm -hmm. that was Tahu. Was no, but I, I like I get that, but I'm saying, ah, uh, yeah, no, I read that wrong. <laughs> yeah, come on. Let's keep going. All right. Got a oh, long boy. one next to us. Oh, boy. Right. Sarah got to the hot springs and looked around. When she was sure that no one was there, she took off her shorts, revealing the dark red bottom of her <laughs> bikini. Uh, why? And Sarah into the water and dunked under the water. <laughs> Redundancy is fun. Yeah. She came up and laid back. Unknown to Sarah, though, Tahu almost in the hot springs. He stepped through the bushes and stopped. Tahu was speechless. In front of him, Sarah was resting in the water. Sarah? Sarah gasped and looked at Tahu. Um, maybe I should go. No, it's okay. The, the okay that belongs to it. Um, <laughs> I, I was just, uh, <laughs> I need to go. Yeah. What are you doing here? I was going to get cleaned up myself. Why the fuck would you need to wash? You're made of mechanics. <laughs> Why? You rust. Also, aren't you weak to water? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Against you, that bath would be nothing but steam. Hot, Hot air, air, as, air they say. as they say. Of course we couldn't fucking go without that. Okay. Um, <laughs> I was going to get cleaned up myself. Would you mind if I... No, go ahead. Sarah <laughs> scooted over and let Tahu slip into the water. She let Tahu slip into another thing, too, but I'm not oh, going to no. talk about that. She's Tahu 14. Looked over at She's Tahu 14. looked over at Sarah, who was looking at the locket she was wearing. Who's that? Tahu <laughs> pointed to a picture of Sarah and Lee Khan. <laughs> That's my old mentor, Lee Khan. He was killed Wait. by Makuta ten years ago. Hold up. Hold what? the fuck up. Why would... So, so she just, like... She just spoiled uh, the ending of... She just spoiled fucking the story that Taraka Lee Khan was gonna tell them. Yeah, not to mention... Like, Taraka Vakama. I mean... Not to mention, did she just have her locket open for no reason? Like, a locket it might not have a lid. And why did she take her locket into a hot spring? She's taking a bath. Those pictures yeah. are gonna get soaked. Yeah, dude, this is... Oh, God, just... Oh, let's keep okay. going. All right. That's my old mentor, Lee Khan. He was killed by Makuta ten years ago. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> 
It's okay. I'm over it. <laughs> if anything, how like, is he a mentor? Like he, yeah, he saved he was, you from this whatever the fuck ten years ago, he, and then he immediately left and died. Yeah, if anything, her mentor is probably Vakama. Or it would well, be if he even knows who she is. I would just responds, Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, okay, let's Sarah keep going. Dro- All right. Yeah. Sarah dropped her head back and closed her eyes. Tahu looked at her face and tucked a strand of hair behind her ear. <laughs> what? what are you? No. Oh, that's Sarah. What are you doing? Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. It's okay. <laughs> Sarah leaned her head on Tahu's shoulder. Tahu wrapped an arm around her shoulders. Hey, Tahu. Oh, man, the feel of yeah, cold Sarah. steel is my favorite. It's so romantic. Thanks a lot for what you did earlier. I mean with Pohatu. Sarah kissed Tahu on the cheek and left. Tahu he doesn't have her cheeks. Cheek and, fine and smiled. Actually, no, Tahu has way too many cheeks. You see the... Tahu fingered yeah. his Tahu. cheek. <laughs> This is how you get girls, everyone. You just say, oh, sorry. <laughs> Every time they say something. And wait for that, yeah. it's okay. And then you finger your cheek and smile. That's how you get <laughs> Welcome, our heroes, the Toa Nuva. The Kohli Stadium erupted with the cheers of Matorin. The Toa all took their seats and watched the Kohli tournament start. Tahu looked around and saw Sarah sitting with a Tarago. He smiled and turned his attention back to the game. As soon as the game was over, Tahu went to find Sarah. He saw her over by the edge of the stadium. Hey, hey, Sarah. Hey, Tahu, your team did well. <laughs> yeah, but they could have won. They'll win next time. Wanna go for a walk? Sure. Tahu hurried after Sarah. They both walked silently through Leiwahi. How the fuck did they get yeah, in they Leiwahi? They walked really far. Okay, okay, okay. okay. It's like the other <laughs> side of the island. <laughs> Making my way downtown, walking. Okay. Fast. <laughs> yeah. okay. You would literally have. You would have to get through Onuwahi to get to Leiwahi. Like holy shit! Welcome to Onukora. Uh, Tahu I mean, gently grasped Sarah's hand in his own. Tahu. Firmly grasp it in your hand. Firmly no. grasp it. Yeah, ta- Firmly yeah, grasp actually, it. Gentle, gentle to a yeah. machine is not gentle to a human. So she's like, yeah. so he's like crushing every bone in her hand. <laughs> Just crunch. And this is how Sarah had to get her hand amputated. <laughs> yeah. Uh, hey, it's okay. Tahu's the Toa of Fire. It'll call. Hold up. Okay. Well, let's let's keep going. <clears throat> yeah. Um. Tahu gently grasped Sarah's hand in his own. Tahu. Yeah, Sarah. Can I ask you something? Sure. Go ahead. Why do you care so much about me? I mean, wouldn't you rather hang out with Yaoi? Gal is already going out with Kopaka. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, this doesn't make sense though, because I thought Kopaka works alone. Kopaka yeah, does work works alone. alone. Oh, Co- works like Kopaka, alone. Kopaka sure does. Uh, Kopaka does everything alone, even in his life. He, he does it alone in the uh, privacy yeah. of Honestly, his own. Honestly, I would have expected Kopaka to give Gali the cold shoulder. So. <laughs> oh. you, wow. you went there. You went there. I cannot believe you just did that. Anyway. You can ban me if you want. <laughs> Gal no, that's is what already... you want. <laughs> Gal is already going out with Kopaka. Sarah, when I first saw you, you totally blew me away. I saw you and I thought she couldn't be real, but you are real, and I'm glad you are. Tahu. Shh, I'm not done. Sarah, I've developed feelings for you since we met this morning. Love isn't canon. Love isn't canon. Love, love isn't, isn't canon. canon. I've fallen in love with you. No. Sarah, I lo- no, I'm not going to say it. No. Um Sarah, I uh, you know what happens. 
I don't want audio of me saying that. Sarah lowered I, her hold head. Hold on. <laughs> you. What if, the if fuck? We get, if, we get, if we get 100 likes on this video, Diggy will say that line. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to say it. It could be used against me. <laughs> That's exactly why we want to do it. <laughs> no, 100 likes. For 100 <laughs> likes, will you do it? Uh, I'll do it for... Oh, yep. I'll do it for $50. Uh, okay, okay what's done. your PayPal, son? Oh, <laughs> um, you know what? Let's discuss this All afterwards. Right, you know what? I'll, I'll say what. I'll read it. Okay. Sarah, Just say that one line and we'll continue. Sarah, Hector loves you. No! <laughs> oh, no! Oh, no! What a twist! So, a twist. so let it be said, so let it be done. <laughs> Sarah lowered her head, her eyes brimming with tears. That's so cute. Tamu sighed and pulled Sarah into a hug. She wrapped her arms around Tahu's neck as he buried, buried his face in her neck so she's seven feet tall. They stayed like that for a while before Sarah pulled away. That's so cute. I have a problem with this. She's like 14. She isn't what? like even fully her going to be her adult height. So she wouldn't even reach like anywhere close to her to Tahu's neck. That really That's pisses so me off. That's so wrong. She'd be lucky if he got to his fucking silver armor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which one? Oh. Oh god. Oh, no. Tahu smiled and his kissed cock. Sarah. Tahu says, Tahu smiled and kissed Sarah on the lips. She gasped, and Tahu deepened the kiss. He oh licked her lips, which opened and allowed his tongue into her mouth. Okay, okay. <laughs> Canon atrocities aside. Tahu's a shit kisser. <laughs> Tahu's a shit kisser. Hey, baby, let me, uh, let me, uh, lick your lips. Yo. Oh, let me do the... <laughs> yeah, I mean, got... wow. let me lick your lips. Let me do this the wow. so much more yeah, red than uh, I thought it was going to be. This is crazy. Let me, let me do the give wow. me that whole, uh, lick. <laughs> let me do like, the wow on your lips. Like the... Yeah. On your lips, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, he licked her lips, which opened and allowed his tongue into her mouth. Sarah moaned and Biocles broke away, breathless. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa! I know. I know. Come on, let's go back to tall Koro. Tahu grasped in Sarah's hand. Tahu grasped Sarah's hand, and they ran back to Takoro. Tahu took her to his hut and shut the door. Tahu, what are you doing? I thought it would be better if we had some privacy. Oh Sarah my smiled God. and hugged Tahu. Brian, you're up next. Oh no! Oh, I'm reading this next <laughs> paragraph. Someone, someone. Just, well, someone. now, what do we have here? The tall <laughs> fire. Is in love with Lacan's little human. Makuta <laughs> laughed as he watched Tahu and Sarah kiss. Why does it this matter to us, my love? Makuta turned what? to the fourteen-year-old girl behind him. What? She, had, she had blonde hair, blue eyes, and she wore a tight black midriff top <laughs> with a pair of tight black leather pants. <laughs> Yo. This matters to us, Luis, because we can kidnap this girl and use her against the Toa. Oh. <laughs> and wrapped an arm around Luis's waist. She Her leaned love. against Makuda and kissed his oh, cheek. God. <laughs> my love. Well, my love, when do we attack? Oh, my Soon. God. Yo! <laughs> Oh, well, that's Fucking... a new plot point. Yo. So, so Makuta has a companion now. Oh boy! How oh, and it's fucking. And her name? Dare he? And her name is Louise. 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 <laughs> Dude, this is one of the best things that's ever happened to me in my life. Is these coincidences? <laughs> Hold, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Wait. So there are two fourteen-year-olds in this story. Two 14-year-old yes, girls are twins. Oh, 
What? Yeah, you want about they're, both, they're both fucking. There's Sarah and Louise. Sarah and Louise. <laughs> oh no. I cannot believe this shit's real. I this know. was made for us. Someone gets. Someone I, get I Louise. bet that must be into some really kinky shit. I'm just saying. Oh my god. Okay. Let's no move on to shit chapter to 14 three. year olds. Crotto. Chapter three changes. Who's next? Wait, changes? Didn't we just do changes? No, I don't no. think we did. No, next we just chap- did Coley match. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Chapter oh, three so... changes. That's what we're gonna oh. do. Tahu groaned and awoke the next morning to find himself sitting on the floor. He looked over to his couch and saw Sarah asleep on it. Oh. oh. <laughs> Tahu stood and walked over to Sarah. He smiled, gently kissed her temple. <laughs> kissing her temple. Yeah, I read that wrong. That was my bad. Um, suddenly, Tahu noticed something strange. <clears throat> Perfect by nature. Icons of self-indulgence. Just what we all need. More lies about the world. That never was and never will be. Why? Have you no shame? Don't you see me? You know you've got everyone fooled. What the fuck is this? What? Oh my god, this is an Evanescent song. Is it really? <gasps> really? <Yeah>. No! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. Like, you know it. The perfect by nature. Icons of self indulgence. Just what we so all true. need. Okay. More lies about the world. Oh my god. That never was and never will be. Have you no shame? Don't you see me? You know you've got everybody fooled. And this is how we get flagged by YouTube, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking is my immortal. <laughs> oh, dude, okay, dude. okay. Uh, John, read the next one and the, the next part of the song as well. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to sing this. I'm t- oh, he, lifted, he lifted Sarah's tank top and saw it. Sarah's chest was covered in black armor. <laughs> Oh, what a twist. It was kind of like Onua and kinda like Onua kinda. and Gali's armor put together. What the fuck? All the Toa Onua have the same armor. She All the Toa Onua have the same armor. What the hell? Tahu left his hut and went to Turaga Vakama's hut. Why did you keep put the same noun in the sentence twice? Fuck off! <laughs> <laughs> he knocked and waited until he was allowed in. Toa Ta- Toa Tahu, what is it that you seek? I want to know more about Sarah. Taraga Vakama sighed and looked at Tahu. You may want to sit down. <laughs> I don't want to fucking sing this. Sing it, you Here bitch. It. Here she comes now. Bow down and stare in wonder. Oh, how we love you. No flaws when you're pretending. Now I know she never was and never will be. You don't know how you betrayed me. And somehow you got everybody fooled. Do, 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 do. Oh, God. Is, I was so did not know what hell it was, was until so today. Sink. That's fine. <laughs> I'll I'll God try to dead. fix it in post. I'll try to fix it in post. God but, uh, is dead. <clears throat> Taraga Bakama pointed to a chair in the middle of his hut, which Tahu sat in. You see, we we Taraga didn't meet Sarah until we met up with Li Khan. He had given us his Toa powers and became a Taraga himself. When Nuju, Wanua, and Anoa were captured, we escaped and tried to find them. When we met up with them again, Li Khan was also with them. He told Mat- he told Matua and Nokama where to find Sarah. They went and brought her back to us. Sarah didn't really like us as much when we first met, but when Makuda had attacked Lee Khan before he died, Lee Khan gave Sarah all of his power. How could he do that, Toraga? That's a good question. How could he do that, considering Why? he gave all his power to the Toa Metru? <laughs> Yeah. Basically. Oh shit, I should have been doing a, an old man voice for 
trying to <clears throat> Lee Khan loved Sarah like a daughter. While Sarah <laughs> held his hand, Lee Khan transferred his powers to her. Sarah came with us to Matanui, and we, Taraga, all raised her in our own ways. However, for the past few years, we noticed that something was wrong. Sarah is changing. What do you mean? She is becoming a Tawa. <laughs> Whoa, Dude, this is move. this is like the fucking you, you know that Disney you know that Disney Channel original movie where the kid turns into a mermaid. Yes, yes. that's literally what this is. Oh my I thought it was God. like Animorphs or something. You know the you know the book series. No, yeah. An- Animorphs is actually quality. <laughs> is this Teen Wolf? <laughs> yeah. Oh Question my mark? God! What? <laughs> Hold on. What 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 will her element be? Sarah has always loved to walk in the dark. She never takes a light stone with her at night. Sarah's element is darkness. <laughs> by that by that logic, wouldn't Hookie be a toe of water? <laughs> no, he hates swimming. What what are you talking about? Because he Dark. loves Maku. <laughs> Shut Dark. up. Love isn't canon. Thank you, Doraga. I must go. Goodbye, Tahu. Tahu left Taraga Bakama's hut and stood outside. The sun was just starting to rise. Tahu went back to his hut and found Sarah gone. On the table next to his couch, there was a note. Dear Tahu. Wait, no. Someone else read this. Um, Brian, your turn. Dear Tahu, I've gone to Liwahi to think about a few things. You can meet me there if you like. If I don't see you there, then I will be back by late afternoon. Sarah. Tahu left his hut and headed to Liwahi. Without the mask, where will you hide? Can't find yourself. Why has this happened? In your lies. Is it that? (laughs) I know the truth now. I know who you are. And I don't love you anymore. Why is there an Evanescence? Why is there Evanescence lyrics interspersed in this song? I mean, they're relevant. In this chapter, you mean? Yeah. (laughs) It's symbolism? (laughs) Symbolism. God no. Do I do I yeah. continue? Uh it's Meerkat's turn now. Alright. Sarah sat on an old stump in the middle of Liwahi. She fingered the black metal on her chest. <laughs> <laughs> you need to find better better a- uh, adverbs, man, or not adverbs. <laughs> verbs. Uh, verbs, yeah, you really do. Um and now her shoulders. She sighed. She hated this. <laughs> Sarah, gra- Sarah gasped and jumped up as Tahu stepped out of the bushes. Sarah, are you okay? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> you guess? Sarah, if anything is wrong, you can tell me. You guys met yesterday. All right. Um, <clears throat> Tahu, I don't know why this is happening. I am turning into a freak. Yo, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> you're turning into a robot and you're telling that to the robot that you're a freak? <laughs> <laughs> All right, bitch. He's like, man, I'd say you're turning into a normal. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah if anything, she you're is the freak. You're turning yeah. into a normie. Honestly, yeah, how does she not think this is a good thing? Man, I'm turning to be to look more like everyone that I've ever known. No, mm-hmm. yeah, that, absolutely. Mm-hmm. Sarah, you're not turning into a freak. You're turning into a Toa. <laughs> What? I, I like to imagine that with the fucking Uwu next to it. Um, I went to see Turaga Vakama this morning. He says you are becoming a Toa. Tahu, I, I don't, I, I don't know what to do. Tahu watched as Sarah doubled over in pain. He ran to her side and held her as she changed. Sarah ah! began to breathe. <laughs> Sarah began to breathe. <laughs> 
<laughs> heavily, and black armor covered her arms and thighs. Mm. Uh, Tahu sat up and <laughs> looked her over. Sarah was just about covered in armor. Her Only her abdomen, lower legs, and neck needed armor, and she still needed a mask. Sarah buried her face in, Ch- in Ta- Chahu, Tahu's chest and sobbed. Sarah, it's okay. You'll be fine. I love you. Sarah looked up at Tahu as he wiped away her tears. I like to just imagine him like scarring and cutting into her cheeks as he's wiping away tears. <laughs> like with his fucking metal hands. Uh, Tahu kissed Sarah and hugged her. Sarah, it'll be okay. Come on. Let's co- come on. Let's let's go back to, to Takora. That was a really fucking weird sentence to read. Mm-hmm. Okay. Tahu kissed Sarah again. And then they went back to Takoro. Brian, take it away. <laughs> Brian. Uh, never was it, never will Oh, God. <laughs> you don't know how you betrayed me. Since somehow you've got everybody fooled. <laughs> never was and never will be. Not for real that you can save me. And somehow you don't have to, now you don't you're have to sing all everybody's of fool. Oh, oh man, that's a good song. Oh, oh my man. god. It's so it's we're moving on to the last chapter and it's so long. Yeah, should we? No, let's finish it. Come yeah. on, it's the last one. Let's let's just fucking... Yeah. No, so... and there's no Evanescence lyrics here. Yeah, sad. Yeah, this will be easier. My God. So yeah, John, take it away. All right, I'm gonna read the for the next uh, three paragraphs because they're all really yeah. short. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tahu watched Sarah. Oh, no, sorry. Tahu watched Sarah as she fingered the black armor on her abdomen. (laughs) She had gone through another change and he began to worry. Tahu had gone to Taraga Vakama again to find out about Sarah's mask. Flashback. Because, you know, (laughs) we can't have a flashback in its own section. It's just got to be awkwardly put in the middle of a chapter. Right (laughs) after the first paragraph, yeah. Turaga Vakama, about Sarah. You want to know about her mask? Yes. <laughs> Very well. Turaga Vakama went over to his chest and pulled out a small bundle. Went over to his chest. Oh, like his, like a box yeah. chest. Fuck me. Like yeah, yeah. Oh my god, chest, okay, yeah. that made less, that made sense, I guess? <laughs> oh, whatever. What's a mirror? <laughs> <laughs> he gave it to Tahu, who unwrapped it to find a black mask and the mask of time. What? <laughs> what? Fuck Turaga, what is this? Oh, I've got to say. The mask of darkness. It's different from the mask of shadows <sighs> that Makuta has because I said so. I also want you to have Sarah use the mask of time to go back to her past, even though that's something the mask of time can't do. There's something that you both need to see. can't do that. And flashback. I like how there's an OC made by an original character made by an Mm -hmm. OC. I like that. I like that yeah. you don't actually find out who's talking in this next paragraph until the end, until the second half of it. I like, I like reading <laughs> mysteries. It's <Yeah>. fun. <laughs> Sarah, are you ready? Yeah. Yes, I'm scared, but I'm ready. It's okay. I'll be there with you. Don't worry. I will. Sarah kissed Tahu's cheek and put the mask of time on. The world began to spin, and then both Sarah and Tahu saw something that would change Sarah's life forever. Thanks for the preview and not just telling me what the fuck is happening. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. But... It's not subtext so... if you literally spell oh, it out no. for us. 
<laughs> oh my god. No. This you next have fucking to. paragraph. I hate it. Do you want me to take it over or no? Yeah. No, no, uh, I'll suffer through it. Oh my I'll god, this is brutal. <sighs> yeah. And don't and don't what's... spoil it. Jesus Christ, I didn't even uh, read it. Sorry. Yeah. What's sorry, uh, Doctor Doctor Strange's cape Before dies it. in Infinity War. Oh, shut up! <laughs> oh man. Go Before green. them, I'm not even gonna do the voice. I'm gonna do a serious one. Before them was a three-year-old girl lying in a pool of blood, crying. In front of An her orb. stood a woman, about thirty-three, holding a whip. I love how they specify her age. This is obviously real yeah. life Sarah's mom, which is sad. yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. This is suddenly this really is... sad. Yo, what fucking what world are they in? Where oh. this this is okay. Hot take. This is okay. a diary. All right, here's the problem. Yeah. Here, the mask of time doesn't do time travel. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So this does We've not establish make sense this. At all. Yeah, I mean, if anything, this would make more sense with a mask of, you know, it would be, make sense with more of an Olmac, maybe? Oh, yeah, mm-hmm. Olmac would work for this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but this was written in 2005 before the Olmac existed. Yeah, that's true. Uh, wait, was it? Yes. Yeah, yeah this was written in 2005. This is 2005. Well, I was just wondering, because I knew the last one was the one we were thinking of doing and chose not to because it was really bad. Yeah. Uh, was 2014. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Anyway, keep going. Um, you've been a bad girl, Sarah. You shouldn't have done what you did. Mommy, stop, please. No. Ha ha ha. Tahu held Sarah close as they watched the little girl get beat. Okay. Ah! They, the, they watched the little girl get beaten. I, I think you meant to say. Mm-hmm. Sarah, oh. turned her, Sarah turned her head away and they teleported to a different time this time the girl was four and she was hiding in a closet get out <sighs> here you little bitch it's time for your punishment the girl, <sighs> the girl began to cry as her mother opened the closet there you are come on out no mommy please don't Sarah closed her eyes as she listened to the little girl's cries Tahu was filled with rage as he watched Sarah's mother beat her. Finally, they warped to a different time. This time, Sarah watched as a, the girl, who is now five, fell into the land of Metrunui. You said she was four and a half in chapter one. Repeatedly. Like oh, five dear. times. And was very specific, uh, specific about that in every sentence that you mentioned her age. What the fuck? Yeah. Sarah gasped and watched as the girl who was chased across the land by the Vaki. Sarah felt Tahu's arms tightened around her waist. The two, ah. of them, the two of them were finally warped back to their own time. The time, ah. before time. That was, oh my god. Now I feel yeah. bad. So I appreciate, I, you know, I really appreciate this because it's a great example of how not to use, how not to introduce violence and abuse and themes like that in your mm-hmm. story. Mm-hmm. Like, you don't have a perfectly run-of-the-mill romance and then, like, have children it's being ugly. beaten halfway mm-hmm. through for, like, a paragraph and then have it not matter, like... Have it not matter after this next paragraph, really. Like, yeah. spoiler alert, I mean, they don't talk about, after this next paragraph, they don't talk about it for the rest of the story. Really? Ah, uh, which is the Why are you only spoiling me? God. So let's just keep reading that and see what happens. <clears throat> Sarah fell to her knees as she changed for the last time. Tahu watched his black armor covered Sarah's neck and lower legs. He picked up Sarah's mask and placed it on her face. Sarah glowed for a few seconds and then the light began to fade. Tahu bent down next to Sarah and looked her over. She was beautiful. Sarah had black armor (coughs) everywhere on her body. She had a silver gauntlet on each arm that had a small axe on the end. Her mask looked like Pohayus and Unua's put together. Brian, you're going to have to model that now. And she she still had her blue sapphire blue eyes. 
Tahu lifted her into his arms and carried her to the couch. <laughs> Sarah looked at Tahu and smiled. Tahu, I love you. And I love you. You're and also very... with you. <laughs> yeah. You're very beautiful, Sarah. Thanks. Tahu leaned down and kissed Sarah on the lips. She moaned and wrapped her arms around Tahu's neck. Imagine moaning after just one kiss. Imagine but... moaning right after you saw yourself getting beaten. My thing, yeah. How do you? How do you? Yeah. Console, how does that transition? How do you console a person after just after they go back in time and relive repressed memories of them being beaten brutally as a child? Mm -hmm. beautiful. I understand BDSM exists, but this is not that. No, this is nowhere. How do you control, how do you control someone like that? You tell them, obviously, you just say, you're very beautiful. Mm, this is very bad. Oh, uh, uh, fuck, where am I? Um, she moaned, and wrapped, her arms around she moaned and wrapped her arms around Tahu's neck. He deepened the kiss and pulled Sarah into a sitting position. They broke off and Tahu kissed down her neck. Tahu! Tahu stopped and looked at Sarah. She smiled and hugged him. And hugged him. Sarah, stay with me. I will. Tahu kissed her cheek and held her close. Sarah leaned against Tahu and closed her eyes. Tahu, what are we going to do now? Get some rest and then find the others. Fine with me. Tahu smiled and nuzzled her neck. Sarah sighed and fell asleep neck against Tahu's chest. Tahu smiled and lifted Sarah into his arms. He carried her to his bed and laid her down on it. He closed his curtains before laying down next to her. Damn. This is bad, bro. What the actual fuck is that? Yeah. I'm like honestly disgusted right now. Yeah. We... I mean, we would have read this even if we had vetted it, but like also... Oh, yeah, absolutely. Ugh. Yeah, just very... Yeah, disgusting. How, how dismissive can you get about... Like, this is on... You're fucking using a whip and beating your three-year-old bloody. Like, mm -hmm. you cannot introduce that in a story and expect people to not be, like, disgusted by this. Yeah. That might be why they stopped updating this. Honestly. Well, also because they needed to work on their other stories, which uh, once this is done, I'm going to go through this person's other stories because I think you're yeah, going to get a too. kick out of it, Hector. Oh, oh God. Nice. Oh, God. Okay. But anyway, uh, let's keep going. Um, I think Brian is up next. Yeah. Sarah awoke the next morning feeling fully refreshed. She turned to face Tahu, who was smiling at her. Good morning, Tahu. Good morning. How are you feeling? Much better. Good. Tahu pulled Sarah closer and kissed her. <laughs> they broke away, and Sarah rolled out of bed. What's up? I'm going somewhere today. I'll be back later. Just be careful. I will. Tahu stood and hugged Sarah. They shared a kiss, and Sarah left. Tahu sighed and went to Kininui. Tahu went to the 7-Eleven at Kininui to get cigarettes and never came back. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. He went, he went to the, he, what a one-night stand. He went to the he, Circle K to pick up those fucking, fucking slushies. He five, oh my god, Tahu is the <laughs> pinnacle douchebag in this fucking story. He finds he watches his new girlfriend be beaten as a child. Says, wow, you're beautiful. Has a one night stand with her and then splits. A dead ball. This is all he needs is a car. Wait, what the fuck is this next? This is like a huge time skip. One second. Okay, next paragraph. Skeet and yeet. Okay. Yeet. But, all he needs is a car like now. And he'll be, and evacuate. He'll, he'll be pinnacle douche. Oh, God. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Choke on <laughs> death. Sarah smiled as her boat neared Metro Nui. When the fuck was this? Today, um, she was going back to her old home. Sarah's boat reached the shores of Gal Metro, and she got off. I mean, what did she get off to? 
No, I got shut up. You <laughs> nasty. She then, she then headed for Tometru. The once beautiful city was covered in vines, and many buildings had fallen. No webs, also. Um, Sarah went straight to her old home and went in. Nothing had changed. She went to the bedroom and looked around. In the corner, she saw Lecon's swords. Sarah swallowed and picked up one of the swords. She fingered it and held it close. Ah. Stop, stop fingering things. Oh my no. god. She fingered it and held it close. Sarah. Who said that? Sarah stood <laughs> and turned around. In front of her stood Lecon. Only he was slightly transparent. <laughs> Fuck. Lecon? Yes, it's me, Sarah. You're a Toa now. Yes, when you gave me your powers, it gave me the power to change. I am proud of you, Sarah. I only How did wish you that change? I... You didn't have a character to begin with. What character <laughs> traits changed other than you look like a fucking... You look like half a Bionicle. <laughs> I, yeah. I'm proud of you, Sarah. I only wish I could have lived. Yeah. I do too. You were arguably one of the best characters, except for in this story. <laughs> I wish that too. Sarah leaned forward and reached a hand towards Lee Khan. Then they kissed. Um, Lee Khan grasped it and pulled Sarah into a hug. He's incorporeal. What the fuck? <laughs> Sarah that held on to so Lee Khan and began to cry. Sarah, it's okay. There was nothing you could do. Right. Although I would like to take a moment to appreciate the fact that Lee Khan came back in this. So what this actually means is the the Red Star's working. Uh, yes, yeah, this this fan fiction author predicted the Red Star uh, five years before <laughs> they actually Whoa. said what it did. Greg yeah. got inspired by this fanfic. <laughs> <laughs> no, Greg was so angered by this fanfic that this is the reason he made love not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but he also just, made resurrection from the Red Star um, a, a plausible thing. Red yeah. Star, yeah, he probably did Stewart. read this fan fiction, honestly. Hmm. That's his writing era. style, obviously. He wrote this fan fiction. <laughs> this is Greg. Fuck. <laughs> Sarah, it's okay. There was nothing you could do. You were young. I know. I just wish that I could have done something. <laughs> Don't blame yourself, Sarah. Or don't blame yourself, Sarah. I must go now. But know this: Makuta has a Toa with him. She has been sent to attack Takoro. You must go protect your home and people. Okay, Sarah. For, Sarah, for a second, I must that's go. Simple. My home, my my home planet needs me. The Red Star needs me. Uh, for a second, mm -hmm. that sim the the two uh, quotation symbols right after that looked like a trademark to me for a second. <laughs> 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 it's like I your home and people trade more. You can have it. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you, 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 oh you god. always were like a father. You know, you always were like a father. You know, like my father. You, you know. <laughs> yeah. Oh, like my fathers father. aren't I'm so canon. sorry. <laughs> fathers aren't canon. Mm -hmm. I love you, Sarah. Now go protect. Cut. Yeah, uh, protect Takoro. Sarah nodded and left. Tahu slammed into the wall of a hut, nearly destroying it. He groaned and looked at his attacker. She was tall and lean with yellow armor and blue eyes. She smiled an <laughs> evil smile and looked at Tahu. I, uh, first of all, let me just let me just uh, let me just appreciate that you're announcing this like a wrestling amount mm -hmm. announcer. <laughs> In this corner of the ring. In this corner of the ring, we have this. We have the evil Mary Sue. <laughs> on this corner, so we have. On this corner, we have hot air, as they say. Ha ha! <clears throat> makes glass. Makes the toe of fire. Tahu. Nuva. Fantastic. Fantastic. <laughs> oh my god! And on the other side, it's fucking Louise. You know. Pretty <laughs> cute. <laughs> Tahu growled and tried to stand, but the girl blasted him again with another lightening bolt. The girl moved to attack Tahu again, but she was attacked by Sarah. Who? What? What the fuck? Oh, okay. It's okay. So mm -hmm. Louise is saying this. 
Yes. Who's, yes. <laughs> Who the hell are you? No, you should read it like you should read it. Who the hell are you? Who the hell are you? Uh I'm Heather, and you are Heather. <laughs> I'm I'm Heather too. Oh my god. We should be best friends. Heather. Like seriously. Oh my Heather. god. Heather. Shut up, Heather. <laughs> no, Heather, you shut up. Why are you pulling on my dick? <laughs> I'm a people. Louise. Well, it was fun attacking Why? your village, but n- <laughs> it was fun attacking your village, but I have to run. With that, Luis teleported. You didn't oh. run. Oh, okay. I, I, I imagine Luis go uh, sprinting in that freaking Naruto. You run. teleported. <laughs> she just teleported. There's no like description to this. She just teleported. Not to any. Yeah, teleports, behind you. teleports behind you. Teleports behind you. Nothing Sarah. personnel, kid. <laughs> Sarah ran to Tahu's side. Are you okay? Yeah, but my leg hurts. Well, let's get you to turn of a comma. All right, but first things first. Sarah Tahu pulled Sarah closer and kissed her. Why? Okay. You're like dying. Fuck off. <laughs> Pohatu growled as he watched Tahu kiss Sarah. He had wanted Sarah, but <gasps> Tahu had taken her. Gali was already going out with Kopaka while well, Pohatu was going to have Sarah whether Tahu liked it or not. Pohatu's no. jealous. What? Pohatu is like literally the most bro out of all the Toa. But also, mm. why? Is, that's like not even the biggest thing wrong with that. With this whole thing. The... Yeah. Makuta smiled as Louise returned. Wait, can, can I read the last one? Can I yeah, read go it? Go ahead. Go ahead. <clears throat> Makuta smiled as Louise returned. How did it go, my dear? Everything. No, wait. What's the bitch for? Everything was great until that black tail I showed up. Don't worry. You'll destroy the village soon enough. Makuta pulled Louise close and kissed her. And. That and that's is... how she got mouth herpes. <laughs> oh boy. That is that's why she end. got Prada. <laughs> no, yeah. if anything, uh-huh. she got no, if anything, she got like lockjaw from that. Jeez. She got tetanus. <laughs> or like the equivalent. How did she worms? kiss Makuta? Makuta's like 30 feet tall. <laughs> Makuta well, it okay. I don't want to defend it, but it did say Makuta pulled Luis close. I'm assuming he picked her up. He picked her up and kissed her with his head that's bigger than her entire body. He mm-hmm. he kissed her with his top mouth. So I'm just gonna <laughs> so I'm just gonna say right now that um so this girl hold on what did it say um how what did it say that Sarah looked like did it say she had dark hair? No, she no. had blonde hair with dyed red oh. tips. Yeah, and blue eyes. Because I was going to say that this seems a lot like a prequel to Kill la Kill. I mean, <laughs> oh my god. I mean, if you think about it, uh, blonde hair with uh, red accents, I think she is, um, what was that thing that, that people keep obsessing over? Angry Chan? <laughs> what? Angry Chan? I'm not joking. I'm not joking. What's they that? So they predicted a, a meme 10 years in advance. They made a Listen, Chan dude. out of... The angry react. Um, mm. of, of what the people. fuck? Yes, That's some I'm weeb not joking. shit, man. <laughs> joking. Hello, I am. I am the internet, and I love anime. Ho ho! So my pee pee small. So since you finished this, why the fuck am I pee hard? I'm gonna take a second and okay. go to this person's page. I'm just gonna read out their other uh, stories. The first one, which was published in 2004. Wait, 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 hang on one second. <laughs> we, gotta, we gotta take a look at this description, because the author has written seven stories for Bionicle, Teen Titans, Transformers Beast Wars, and Yu-Gi-Oh! Cool. Yep. Oh. So the first one, this is another you Bionicle one. Transformers one, please. This is another Bionicle one, rated K+. Uh, seven chapters, last updated in 2004. Tali's adventure, enter the Toa of Thunder. What mm-hmm. happens when Gali's daughter sets out to find the legendary Mask of Thunder, Tahu Gali, second to last chapter. 
After that was the Human Toa, which after that was the Human Toa, which we read much to our displeasure. Mm -hmm. Uh, Next is No More Jokes, Teen Titans, rated M, (gasps) one chapter uh, featuring Aqualad and Beast Boy, and last pub Mm -hmm. and uh, published in two thousand six. Oh my God, yo! Aqualad gonna get some of that fish tail tonight, boy. Beast Boy is depressed after the Terra incident. The Titans decide to send him to Steel City to hang out with the Titans Beast. Of course, Aqualad is happy to help. Mm-hmm. Okay, mm-hmm. okay, hang on one second. Mm-hmm. I'm going to I'm instead of questions today, I'm going to read I'm gonna read the reviews for this. Okay? So oh, okay. this is the story we just read. Oh um, well, let's let's get through the rest of this these first yeah. because there's not a lot there's not a lot more. So okay. after that is Love's Long Journey, which is a Transformers Beast Wars 1 rated T, updated in 2007, set after the new mm-hmm. movie. Spoilers. <clears throat> what, if J- what if Jazz had a mate he left behind? What if Ratchet oh. found a way to fix Jazz? Jazz XOC Optimus X Ratchet. Oh no, this isn't Beast Wars. This is oh, Bay Transformers slash Beast Wars. Oh, okay. I guess it's a category. Mm-hmm. The next so. one is this author's last Bionicle fic published in 2010 and rated M. Solar <gasps> Flare of the Soul. Fucking Krillin. Tahu has felt alone amidst the other Toa. So when a mysterious boy with a painful past arrives on Matanui, Tahu feels drawn to him. Has he finally found his soulmate? Tahu X- it is Greg! Tahu XOC, <laughs> Liwa XONua, Pohatu X Takanuba, <laughs> and Gali X Kopaka. That's horrifying. Okay. Is... The next okay. one is the next one is oh. Life and Death. It's Yu-Gi-Oh. Twenty one hundred. <laughs> ra- it's rated M. It's twenty one hundred. Lichens and vampires fight for supremacy while humans are no more than slaves. One girl warms up to warms the heart of one of the elders, but can she stop the war? Yugi Moto X O C Yami <sighs> Yugi X U. Is that is that extra Y Yugi? I hope Maybe. not. And SXJ. Mm-hmm. I'm going to say that's Seto X Joey because I don't Probably. care enough to read it. And then what the last it's... one, the very last yeah. one, Sparks Intertwined. It's a Transformers one. When mm-hmm. Sideswipe is hurt, but it's rated M. When Sideswipe is hurt and scorned by the one he thought he loved, what happens when the Decepticons take him in and show him that there really is the perfect someone out there? AU ish, only with the Decepticons. Plug, Plug and, play, and play, heavy play? slash multiple couples. I hate it. Oh, boy. All right. This, so now I'm going to read it. these reviews. All right. Oh, so, God. No. Bear we, with me here. We, uh, oh, we are running out of time. This has oh. already gone for like an hour and a half. All right. Well, I'm going to read the well, top do, one. Yeah, let's, yeah, let's do one. one review of this. Okay. This is from Haru Takami, who was <laughs> on Chapter 3. And this was sent August 16th, 2008. Haru Takami says, er, a few questions. One, is Sarah human while everyone else is mechanical, or is everyone human? <laughs> Two, <laughs> why are you rushing through things so much? Coley is an important part of the Matoran universe and plays a key role in any storyline. And f- finally, three, what happened to Liwas's tri- tree speak? And yes, it's spelled mm-hmm. Liwas's. Um... <laughs> Truthfully, I am quick losing interest in this story tale. Oh, that sincerely, Toa Haru, Toa of Art. <laughs> Wait, there, there is one review I want to read to close this off. So, Master of the Ice Blade says he wrote this review on March 29th, 2005. I like it. I really think the song lyrics helped get the point across. So um, well then, all I right. Mean, okay. <laughs> yeah. So with that, thank you so much for listening. This is an absolute mess of a story. I love it. What a it. shit show. <laughs> it got it got like yeah, worse and worse with each paragraph. Each paragraph just got worse. So that's uh, that's always a good sign. But thank you for suffering through this with us. Yeah, so thank you for listening. Remember, you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. And, you know, subscribe on YouTube. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell to get the notification, whatever. And good night.